ADHD, also known as Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, is mostly seen in children below the age of 12, appears as early as between the age of 3 and 6, and can continue through adolescence and adulthood. Symptoms of ADHD can be mistaken for emotional or disciplinary problems or missed entirely in children who primarily have symptoms of inattention, leading to delays in diagnosis. And today, we will look at this aspect of missed diagnosis and see how ADHD affects adults and has a lasting impact on the health of many adults. Before we take a deep dive into missed ADHD, let's visualize what ADHD looks like in general or in kids. People with ADHD mainly have symptoms of inattention. Others mostly have symptoms of hyperactive impulsivity. There are studies that suggest that apart from genetics, brain injuries, nutrition deficiencies and social environmental constraints may also affect the individuals. ADHD is more common in males than in females and females with ADHD are more likely to primarily have inattention symptoms. People with ADHD often have other conditions such as learning disability, anxiety disorder, conductive disorders, depression and substance use disorder. So every adult who has ADHD had it as a child. While many kids with ADHD outgrow it, about 60% still have it as adults. Adult ADHD seems to affect men and women equally. But why is it a concern? A large population-based study in Sweden recently showed that individuals with ADHD were at a two-fold higher risk of all types of cardiovascular diseases than those without ADHD. The severity of core ADHD symptoms tend to decrease with age, whereas the risk of cardiovascular ailments increases with aging. Moreover, ADHD and cardiovascular diseases are more prevalent in males than females. Clinically, we need to be more careful considering psychiatric comorbidities and lifestyle factors to help reduce CVD risk in individuals with ADHD. But we also need more research to explore this biological mechanism. Apart from the cardiovascular ailments, if an adult has ADHD, then they might find it hard to follow directions, remember information, concentrate, organize tasks and finish work on time along with which they might be anxious, troubled making relationship, lack of sense of time, lack of empathy, forgetfulness, shows self low esteem, lack of motivation and impulsiveness. Having discussed these impacts in life, the best solution is behavioral therapy. This aims to help a person change their behavior. It might involve practical assistance, such as help organizing tasks, or completing schoolwork or working through emotionally difficult events. Behavioral therapy will also teach a person how to monitor their behavior, give oneself the praise or reward for acting in a desired way such as controlling anger or thinking before acting. Along with that, stress management techniques can benefit them as they increase their ability to deal with the frustrations so that they can respond calmly to the situations. With this, you can add cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps a person learn how to be aware of the acceptance of one's thoughts and feelings to improve focus and concentration. Overall, it's family and marital therapy that can help family members and spouses find productive ways to handle disruptive behaviors, encourage behavioral changes and improve interactions with the person. On a personal note, keeping routine, making lists for different tasks and activities, using a calendar for scheduling events, using reminder notes, assessing a simple place for keys, bills and paperwork, bringing down large tasks into more manageable smaller steps so that the completing each part of the tasks provide a sense of accomplishment, getting good sleep, eating a healthy diet consisting of good fruits and vegetables, Exercising regularly for a healthy mind and brain are a few tricks which you can keep for all the friends who need help with ADHD. Hoping this video creates more awareness of ADHD in adults, 
share it around and make sure for such videos subscribing to the channel until next time